Right, I'm going to try and make my own small weedless hooks. These are weedless hooks, but they've got no weight on them, so uh, I'm going to try and show you guys a little trick that I've just sort of recently learnt to make these into a weighted weedless hook. So they're BKK size 2 weedless hooks. Okay, what I've got is hooks, I've got some soldering wire, and I've got a couple of strands of copper wire, and the soldering iron. Alright, there's our hook. All I'm going to do is get the copper wire and wrap it around the hook where I want that weight. And just like so. Try and keep it as neat as you can because once you finished, it'll if it's not on nicely it'll won't look too good. Once we're done it'll look something like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to solder over the top of it. So I've just got a um, one of these clamps, set of vice grips. And there it is attached. Now I'm just going to solder it. And the more you put on, it's going to give it that little bit of weight, not much weight. And there we have it. Not the prettiest thing, but though that top side of it will be concealed in the legs. So what I've made these so I can use the Rapala Creeper uh, weedless because I can't find a weedless hook that small with weight on it. So I had to come up with my own. Well, I've added another little bulb up this end just to try and help uh, keep it from sliding off the hook. Hopefully it'll work. Oh, as you can see, you can barely see that hook. YouTube? Oh.
Oh, see that? What was that? There's a fish in the sticks there. Huh? There's a fish in there. Did you catch it? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I did. That's what always happens. I beat the shit. It doesn't feel like it feels like a flathead. Oh, I don't think it might be a decent sized jack. Oh, that's a stupid flathead. About 40 to 45. Whoa. Oh, and there he goes. Fell out the boat. Before I could get a photo again. Oh, that's a nice one. Just pin too, don't you? Put a hook in me. Beautiful. Whoop. Oh, he's got a bit of a smell to him. Doesn't smell too too tasty, this one. Just saying, just putting it out there. Whoa, Sam, buster. It's about the same size you caught, wasn't it? No, it's bigger. That's bigger. Oh yeah, and so I'm going bigger and smaller. <laughs> trying to get back in the kayak. Hey, it's trying to get back in. They always go under, don't they? I got was filming. <laughs> Yeah. If you want to get good ones, you take the kayak into spots where you can't get a boat. Yeah. I once went to the port of Brisbane and at low tide I walked up this canal and it was about knee deep and I went back through chest deep water, got the mud, mud crab pots and they were full of like massive mud crabs. There was like three or three to five in every pot. No, huge. I just love all different types. I hate doing the same shit for a time. If I did this as my only type of fishing, I'd get bored with it. I would want to do something else. Yep. Yeah, going to the dam. That made it really start to think. Oh, you got a weedy. Yeah, I 